Well, got another piece of proof showing that the LGBT homosexual transgender lobby has no shame in how perverted their ideology truly is. This is a recent example. This is the kind of example of the kind of insanity that goes on inside of Jesuit Joe Biden's America, uh, pushed by the Jesuit Joe Biden administration. But this is on uh, Breitbart News. It says, transgender activist uh, defends sexual display at the White House, free the nipple. Not to be too crude there, but essentially it was a nudist display. Yeah, I'm not going to show the image of it because it's so disgusting and dirty, but this is the kind of garbage that is pushed under the Jesuit Joe Biden administration by the homosexual sodomite lobby. It says in the article, a biological man who believes he is a woman defended his sexual display at the White House after shaking his fake breasts, topless along with other transgender activists asserting that his actions were legal and adding that his critics were simply affirming that I am a woman. No, you're a mentally ill guy who mutilated his body to fulfill your own weird desires. That's what you are. It says in the, uh, continuing on, transgender model Rose Montoya has come under fire after attending the White House's Pride Celebration event showcasing his fake set of uh, breasts, along with the transgender men, females who believe they're just males, uh, who are showing off their top surgery scars, uh, and they met uh, President Joe Biden, or Dementia Joe as I like calling him, at the event, covered, uh, covered his nipples as he and others shimmed for the camera. Yeah. This is the kind of garbage that, is, that you're paying for with your tax money if you voted for Joe Biden. Yeah, Dementia Joe and his Jesuit cabinet pushing the homosexual sodomite gar garbage like this. It says in the article, however, Montoya defended his actions in a TikTok he posted after the event. It has recently come to my attention that, that conservatives are trying to use the video of me topless at the White House to try to call the community groomers. Well, it, it, it is pretty gross when you're basically going publicly nude on a government building like that, but hey, you know, normal people find it disgusting, but mentally ill people will think it's okay. I would just like to say that, first of all, going topless in Washington, D.C. is legal. Yeah, but does it make it morally right? So he says, I'm uh, making it clear that he fully supports the free the nipple movement. Uh, what is on my chest uh, is now deemed inappropriate or illegal when I show it off. Uh, however, before coming out as trans, it was not. He said, asserting that the outrage, outrage is simply affirming that I am a woman. No, it's affirming your, what you think it's affirming, your own delusions. Uh, all you're doing is saying that trans women are women because for some reason people like to sexualize women's bodies and say that they are inappropriate, he continued, adding that his trans masculine friends showing off their top surgery scars and living in joy. Yeah, sure. Is that why so many of them are on antidepressant medication? He asserted that he would like them to join in and be fully free, living in his truth, no living in your delusion. So and so we did. I wanted to join them because it's perfectly within the law in Washington, D.C. I decided to join them and cover my nipples just to play it safe. I wanted to be fully free in myself. I had zero intention of, of trying to be vulgar or profane in any way, he added. Well, when you're going publicly nude, that's being vulgar and profane by normal standards, not by mentally ill standards, though. This is going to be getting me a hate speech strike for sure, but this is just insane. And this is what you're funding with your tax money if you voted for Joe Biden. It says in the article, I'm simply living in my joy, living my truth and existing in my body, happy pride, free the nipple, the transgender activist added. Yeah, you're living in your joy, which is basically just a, a perverted delusion of publicly exposing yourself. According to the activist website, Monto Mon Montoya came out as gay in high school and later began performing in drag, leading to coming out as transgender in 2015. That led him to uh, seek gender-affirming hormone therapy. One year later, he came out as bisexual, only to come out as non-binary in 2019. Wow. You know, almost getting every one of them there. Uh, Rose had, has a, a, a video detailing the general timeline of his transition, showcasing the clips of his surgeries, which include breast surgery, as well as a procedure to feminize his chin and have his trachea shaved. In other words, you're mutilating your body to fulfill your own mentally ill desires. That's the truth of the matter. And Jesuit Joe Biden, Dementia Joe, is pushing it all because, hey, you know, the Jesuit lobby has obviously been pro-homosexual. I mean, the Catholic Church is full of homosexuality. Let me just point that out. But the Jesuit order uh, and their Jesuit stooge, Joe Biden, are happily pushing this stuff because, well, they're going after the kids. They have that agenda in common. But this is the whole kind of perverted garbage that is being uh, pushed with your tax money this homosexual sodomite pride month. Yeah. You know, but America's some kind of beacon for morality. They're going to force other nations to accept it as well. What a bunch of garbage. Uh, the founding fathers of America are probably turning in the graves at this point. 
But hey, it's what happens when you elect Dementia Joe, uh, the Jesuit, uh, basically the Jesuit stooge into the White House. I want to point that out. So anyway, I wanted to just make this video on the spot. A bit disorganized, a bit disoriented in this video, but you need to point this out. This is the kind of insanity being pushed with your tax money under Jesuit Joe Biden's pro-homosexual administration. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.